Today, many people are attracted to Montgomery County because of the quality of its public schools. However, before the Civil War, public education for the children in this county was not a high priority. It wasn't until 1860 that a countywide system was put into place. It took five more years for the state to organize. But despite that, some Montgomery County kids did go to school in the 1800s. Here's a look back at how it all began. In the beginning, not everyone went to school. In the early 1800s, you might have gotten an education if your family could afford a private academy or you weren't needed on the farm. More boys than girls were educated and no African Americans were given the opportunity. One of the earliest private institutions was the Rockville Academy. Established in 1812 as a boys school, it existed for 100 years until public education replaced the need. Over time, girls were admitted to an abbreviated program. The Brookville Academy was incorporated in 1815. A small stone building was used until 1864 when this home was purchased from Thomas Riggs. Most academies began as private homes. There was Briarley Hall in Poolsville, the Andrew Small Academy in Darnstown, and Fairley Hall in Sandy Spring. As the century progressed, communities began to band together to educate their children. They raised money to build the schools and to hire a teacher. Often the solution was a one-room schoolhouse where local kids of all ages could learn to read and write. The Quakers of Sandy Spring were highly committed to education. Sherwood Academy began as a co-educational Quaker school in 1883. 23 years later, it became one of Montgomery County's early public high schools. Other Sandy Spring schools include Dramelda, Fulford, and Stanmore. But probably the most significant was called Sharp Street. Initially known as the Sandy Spring Industrial School, Sharp Street was the first organized school for African Americans. When it opened in 1866, former slaves were taught industrial skills. Over time, it evolved to a traditional primary school, kindergarten through eighth grade. Students in the 1800s used a slate and soapstone pencils to write with. Textbooks didn't exist in the early part of the century. Instead, students created their own by neatly copying every lesson, lecture, and example. This one on surveying dates back to 1828. Fifty years later, books such as these were used by students whose parents could afford them. In the early days of public education, Montgomery County kids attended primary school in the one-room schoolhouses that had been built by their communities. An 1861 school board report listed 1,074 students attending the public schools. At the time, $8.10 was spent on each child. Teacher salaries were approximately $288 a year, and parents were asked to contribute $1 per quarter per child. In 1872, the board established one colored school in each election district to provide for the education of recently emancipated slaves. Until the beginning of the 20th century, parents who wanted their children to continue their education beyond the eighth grade had to pay private academy tuitions. In 1904, the first public high school opened. Students at Montgomery High School, now known as Richard Montgomery, were the first in the county to receive a public school diploma. In 